Hello, greetings. This is Gilles Mancillon. I thought I would come and say hello. Wish you a good day. I see wonderful energies coming my way. I hope you do feel that for yourself as well. Um, it's kind of gray, it's getting grayer and grayer, so I have to put some artificial light here. Uh, what I want to say is that no one knows you better than you. No one can tell you what your path of freedom is. You have to listen to your own soul, to your own spirit and your spirit guides. They are for the, this is the highest possibility. No one should be able to tell you what what are your steps towards your freedom what is your fulfillment about what is uh, what is your life plan about so it is about listening more and more and being in touch and following as much as possible the guidance and forgiving yourself when you when you are unable to do exactly what you are planning to do in relationship to the to the fulfillment of the of the following the guidance but if you're sincere you will always be ba bring back in line and for your inner self already knows all that um, um, and also uh, they're going to be uh, we're going to fi should find the ability to find the, the the fulfillment of our desire we're going to be able to have our desire fulfilled but it's it's not possible to run out of desire it's like uh, if you have all your desire fulfilled there will be new desire that will come so it's it's a, and, and so know what you really want you have to to learn to dream more dream more expansively to to be more of a dreamer to daydreaming it's extremely important because it informs the universe what is your idea or what is your what you're looking for into life the universe is completely capable of bringing you whatever this highest dream is about once you express this highest dream you have to listen to the inner guidance that will give you the the, the clues and the keys on how to align yourself to that which is really wanted for 2020 will be a very shifting powerful time for government and banking even before the end of the year we may see some the beginning of that and um and if the, if, more, if the done if the, if the inner work has been done, uh, 2020 will be uh, will be a lot easier than 2019. If the inner work is not done, the spirit will continue to to assist us in creating these inner changes. But the change can come very quickly, very very rapidly. And if we are not free, it's like what is it we need to do in order to get there? Uh, for the world come, uh, there is a great deal of energy shift. We may come to a flash point that will change everything from one moment to the next and it will change forever for the better. So it's about being prepared, being ready for this flash point, this, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, increase in energy. For there are many extraterrestrials and councils of light and, 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 and beings, higher beings that are supervising the program of the Earth, but they're, and they're assisting, they keep sending light on the, on the planet, on individuals, on groups, on the assisting situation. But when it comes to our own personal ascension, they, they have, they have certain, um, they have to, to refrain themselves from assisting us too much because once we're going to get to that, that point of, of ascension, we, get, we, we, we have to know that we've did it from, we've only, it was our own work that get us there. Also Otherwise, it's it's like uh, we can be elevated, but then as soon as 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 they remove, poof, we'll go back down. So, but if we achieve it by ourselves, it will be a lot more gratifying. Yet, call on your guides, call on the angels, call on the the galactics. Uh, they will assist them. Um, um, but what we want is to move into a higher feeling. But in order to get to the higher feeling, the feeling, the feeling of well-being, we need to accept to go through the the the, the less. Um, the, the, the negative feeling, we have to pass through them in order to evacuate them. If we refuse to pass through the, the, the lower feeling, when we have to do that naturally, because if, if we use tobacco, alcohol, drugs, or any kind of distraction to avoid the negative feelings, those will still be there to be transmuted. So accept to, do, to go through that naturally and expurge all that. Once you achieve your ascension, you will be able to utilize whatever you want. There will be no limitation, but you will, it will not be an avoid of something for I'm not a moralist and everybody does whatever they want with their life and um, but so those things were, were kind of tools that we use in order to assist us with the working now we have to work, learn to work as much as possible without the sticks uh, yet if, if we still use uh, if you still um, uh, have moments where you feel you need something we'll find out if it's something that's acceptable for you for the moment or if it's something that you, you need to work on to eliminate it so there is this purification process in a pro the physical purification of the physical body is very very important before this increase of energy this flash point of energy can come into into our reality um, 
because we have to learn from our feelings. We have to our feelings is really a guiding system. So we want to do what we can to learn from 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 our feeling, and eventually we all feel as we want to feel ourselves as light beings at. at uh, of source energy beings, of divine children of God. If you're a child of God, you you, you have no need to, to to reside on the periphery of yourself. You want to move to center, sit on your throne. You are you are the, the son or daughter of the greatest Lord of the universe, of the source of all the all beings and all things, and and it is your birthright to go to claim the, your sovereignty, your empowerment. Uh, do, do not care so much about, too much about what other people think or comment or see about what is going on. If you are true to yourself, it will be far more gratifying at the end, regardless of, of the receptivity of society, of the people around you. You want to be God-centered, to see the greatness of God. The greatness of God is everywhere. It is magnificent. But when you realize the greatness of God, you, have to, you cannot not understand the greatness of you, for you are one. You are created as one with God. Everything is connected to that source. And do not dream too small. Uh, you want to dream more, expand more, so, and form the universe about what would what would be your ideal life. What is it exactly? If you if you were totally free, what would you do with your time, with your life? Already put yourself there, and that informs the universe. The universe can bring you resources in a magical way once there is the alignment has happened. So. Um, for deny is, de denying any any part of ourselves or any part of life is an illusion where acceptation is the truth. The more we are in acceptation, the farther we're going to move along. Um, for the, the physical body will be accelerated, it will become much more perform performant, it will become it will become permanent in a light body form. But for that we need to go through that purification. I know it's not really what... It's not always pleasant. We always dredge the drugs. It's just like, oh, yeah, do I have to do to let go of the, or oh, to clean up my physical body? For me, it's been 250 days about. I've been starting this process. I'm almost, uh, I'm getting much, much closer. So it's, it's kind of a, it's getting easier. Um, but you have to start somewhere and be patient with yourself. It depends. We all have different. It's about listening to your inner self as much as possible. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I'm going to pull, uh, pull some cards to, to, with the, the Voyager Tarot to, um, like this, uh, to, to see about for the general situation and then the, the romantic situation and the professional situation. Just to have an idea, although everything is interconnected, every aspect of our life affects every other aspect of our life. It's like um, if, if, if you do something good for someone, it is as if we do something good for everyone. If you hurt someone, it is if you hurt everyone, for it is all part of you. It is, all, it, is, it is not an easy concept to understand this law of one, but it will, well, once we understand that, we can increase the quality of life in such an incredible way because we, realize we become responsible for the, for, for the reality of all, understanding the sovereignty of each soul as well, for everybody is responsible for his own um, process. The general situation, the highest wisdom is the moon, is accepting the test, the challenges, accepting the, the romantic aspect as well. It's the it's goddess Salasia. We want to call on her. It is, it is the, 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 the night is not... Um, it's not all dark. It's not all dark. The, the day is not all all good. It's uh, uh, for, for there is there can be some dramas that happen in the day, and there can be some beautiful things that happen in the night. So it's about integrating the the, the masculine and feminine. It's um, what we need to understand is the is the child of world. It's, it's the, the is uh, the player. It's about having fun. It's about enjoying yourself, learning to enjoy yourself in new ways. What we need to do is the woman of wand, is the feeler, is to sense, to sense things behind the veil, to sense, to sense what's going on inside and, and to be empathetic, to feel other people's energy as well. So double-edged sword, do not be drained into drama or negative energy, but to have a sense of, of what is going on behind the veil, to have a sensory, to be tuned to your intuition. And uh, the outcome is the tower. The tower is the, the, the house on fire. It means the, everything that is not aligned with the with with, with this this higher evolution process will be uh, shattered away. So we we it may be for ourselves within our personal life, but also in society. So. 
when this happens it's about accepting the time to heal and then we find uh, we find the winter it is it is reflection it is about being patient and, and allowing the process to happen naturally and then they will come death natural change will come to to shift the situation so embrace the change say yes to death by saying yes to death you say yes to life uh, I'm going to pull a few cards for the for, to look in the romantic aspect. For the highest, the highest wisdom is the child of one. Is the seeker for the, if you seek, you will find. To, you want to call on your highest, the highest reflection potential outside of you to to to, to have the. And what we seek, we find. The what we need to understand is dullness. Dullness is not that fun, but it's solid. It's like solid, like a rock. Rocks are intelligent beings. They always converse. They're they're very uh, they're very wise. They're very posed. They're very solid. They're very intelligent. And so it's about understanding the the this in this time of waiting. It's no need to try to. It's about learning the solidity of things and trying to interpret the card as they come. Um, what we need to do is um, the woman of, of crystal is the guardian. It's about being elevating ourselves above the emotion, to have equanimity that that allows ourselves to be protected, protecting ourselves to above the emotion, so that we can um, we don't we don't get spin into the into those waves that are, uh, that, are that are shaking us, uh, shaking us. And, and and the outcome is creativity we have to be creative we have to use this time to be creative it may not be the best of time for romance there's so much that needs to be done on the um, on, on, on personal inner change and, and then uh, the logistics of our life to, to to create a life that is more conducive to all that but it is all coming and then on a professional level what the highest wisdom is gross we are growing, we are becoming more, and we accept that we, we have to change with the change. What we need to understand is the setbacks. For so sometimes there are delays. Delays are not really all that enjoyable. And it's, uh, but uh, once we, and, and, and in the, the best way to overcome the delays is to, when, when it's too slow with, the, with, the, with the, all the professional aspects, is to move to the lovers. So it's about finding the balance between, between romantic love and professional. So, so it's, about, um, it's about having this balance. At one moment, it's like we have to, to, to be attuned once again to this inner guidance because our, our inner self always guides us to, to what is appropriate within the moment. So, so it's about finding this connection. What, it, what we have to do is fulfillment, is to make our dream come true. There is this potential of making, making our, um, our highest dreams come true, fulfilling our highest desire. It's the card of the dream come true. And the outcome is trust. There is, a, there is a plan. Your soul and your spirit has a plan for to bring you to your freedom, to your abundance. It is just uh, you have to address all those inner things inside them. Well, I hope this message uh, was, was, was meaningful for you, was interesting. I'm going to sing a song and pull one more card. Uh, behind me, is a, this is a minimalist portrait. Some people like minimalism. I did like three or four of those. They're like minimalist. They need to be well-framed. And I did all kinds of experimentation, even abstract or, or conceptual. Or, or, and here it is, a, it, is a, it is an interior. I did from two, 2005, six, and seven. I did... Um, 40, 50 interiors. This is one of, really like that one, the, the, the contrast of the blue and it's like in this, this painting. It's like large painting within small ones. And we'll finish with a song and pull one more card. It's, it's a song, um, it's, it's a song by the Pink Floyd. It goes like this. Hey you, out there in the cold, getting lonely, getting old, can you feel me? Hey you, standing in the aisle with itchy feet and fading smiles, can you feel me? Hey you, don't help them to bury the light. Don't give in without a fight. Hey you, out there on your own, sitting naked by the phone, would you touch me? Hey you, with your ear against the wall, waiting for someone to call, would you touch me? Hey you, would you help me to carry the stone? Open your heart, I'm coming home. 
But it was only a fantasy The wall was too high as you can see No matter how he tried he could not break free And the worm ate into his brain Hey you, out there on the road Doing always what you told Can you help me? Hey you, out there beyond the wall Breaking bottles in the hole Can you help me? Hey you, don't tell me There's no hope at all Together we stand Divided we fall. It's a beautiful song by the Pink Floyd. They were very uh, avant-gardist in relationship to this ascension process. They were like kind of like denouncing the matrix, so to speak. So together we stand, divided we fall. We have to create this reconnection, but not to believe that the wall is too high, that we, there is always a way to, to overcome obstacle. Because if we, if we fell in front of an obstacle, it is never because of the obstacle. It's because our soul doesn't have enough strength, enough courage, enough lucidity to overcome it. But if it's placed before us, it means that there is something to learn from the obstacle and we will achieve what we need to come, what we came here to achieve and be trust, your, trust yourself, trust Trust the world, trust in the universe, trust God, and trust yourself as well. Um, be confident. And look, final card is justice, the archangel Raguel. Fight for justice and equality. Judgment in your favor. Do not give up. So it's very much about this, uh, this, this message. Do not give up. Just be strong. And, and things will change to 2020. Let's finish this work this year. And, and then 2020 will be a completely new cycle. We're ex exiting the uh, seven-year cycle after the 2012 uh, portal. Um, there, there were karmic release uh, Seven year cycle, and then we're going to move into the real, into the, the new age, and we'll get, we're getting ready for that. Well, I thank you very much for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.